No, I'm serious. This has been two million dollars for 91 seconds in the ring. But now he faces his biggest fight outside the ring as two rival groups battle over his multi-million dollar body and his soul. Mike Tyson, Street Dumont, talks about life, death, love and violence. And he answers that nagging rumor. He is the homosexual. <laughs> She lost her sister, but Claire and her clarinet were discovered by the Juilliard School of Music. It was the all-American dream which quickly... A hundred and ten times more money than President Reagan did for the whole year. You get some idea of the problems facing this young raging bull. Well, I just returned from his retreat in upstate New York, and he told me about those problems. He told me about the problems of his new love, his new wife. He told me about the problems of having a background of being a vicious thug. And he also told me how he's going to beat them all... It's just my nature to reach for you and take your heart, and your blood, and your spleen, and your liver, and your eye socket. It's, it's the blood, and I want to do something that no one has ever done. I've heard, you know, Mike say he loves chaos. He loves machine. I'm very violent, I'm very, uh, very rational, and uh, I'm very smart. It's controlled anger. I think he knows who he is, but I, I don't know if he's happy with who he is. Despite those hand grenades, <laughs> it was clear to those close to him or my that this was his summer of discontent. It was also clear to anyone who knew that a boxing ring was square that his body was invincible, even if his soul was troubled. 24 hours before his 22nd birthday, a time when most kids are getting their first jobs, Mike Tyson's iron fists made claim to $22 million. Nobody in history had been paid that much money for hurting someone else. $1 million for each year he was on Earth. Maybe it was too much money for a kid. News reports on Mike Tyson are just rewrites of every Hollywood B-grade movie ever made about a fighter black or white. You know, the ghetto kid who fought his way up. But Tyson on Tyson is much harsher. He was not just an underprivileged kid. He loved being a thug. Watch his eyes light up when he talks about ripping people off. It was so exciting. I mean, you can you see you mean the world is so vastly different, you could never understand it. the action and the excitement of it all. And the cunningness, the you know, uh, being the outsmart and it was a big thrill. To be, not just to go out there and beat it at him and slam on the ground and take his water. The outsmart and the outtying the out thing to me, they know that you're a crook when you're on the bus or when you're walking in the check cashing place or the grocery store. They know to watch you and you still outsmart them. But most people would think, um, well, she knows when she, she's on, so I'm going to walk away, but just to still watch and watch and they think they know, and then they make one mistake, and they're smart, and they have their wallet. It is here, on Amboy Street, Brooklyn, New York, that Mike Tyson learned about the flow of blood he now knows so well. He was five years old when he first saw a man murdered. There would be more corpses. On Amboy Street, body and soul was a grim cocktail of drugs and blood. But here, you live fast, die young, and leave a good-looking corpse. Rats and cockroaches own these streets, not humans. Something, but 
I mean, we're watching this. We had the whole, we had the whole effect right there in our neighborhood. So we didn't have television, which most of us didn't. We could watch it in the streets on a lucky night. It was here, 125 <laughs> miles from the brutal main streets of Brooklyn that Mike Tyson left behind a life of money and terror. It was also here that he met a man by name Customato. Customato would change the face of boxing, but more importantly, he would change a human being. Human being, Mike Tyson. Put your hand here and bring the same hand when he hits in. Because I would bring it down here because I'd been up bang over here. Bang was what took you over here. The late Customato became Tyson's adoptive father, opened up his home and let him become a kid again. Mike led the way to his pigeon coop the other day and shared a rare moment with us. Mike Tyson, a kid again. You look at that brother again, see him? Oh, I look great, all oh, great. Look at all those coming too, right where the hogs is right. Look at this bird, man. He's unbelievable, unbelievable. That's the West of England. Look at him, unbelievable. the ring. The Tyson camp claimed that manager Bill Caton took advantage of the champ's youth by signing him to a deal which took one third of his winnings. Tyson enemies counted that he was being manipulated by a beautiful gold digging wife and a stage mother-in-law who handed her the shovel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. This is a really great honor and good afternoon. I just want to announce that we've just heard that this is the greatest live gate in the history of professional sports, $12.3 million. The opening bell sounded in this contractual brawl over Mike Tyson's multi-million dollar body at Donald Trump's Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. If you're going to have a fight over money, there's no better place than where fortunes are won or lost in the roll of the dice. I caught up with Tyson's beautiful wife, Robin, as she dashed through the casino. History has said that oftentimes people or boxers or fighters or just athletes who have made millions turn around years later and wonder where it went. Uh, Joe Lewis had to fight an extra fight for financial reasons. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has to go an extra season for financial reasons. I never want my husband to be in a position to have to fight another fight. I want him to step into the ring as often as he wants because he wants to, because he enjoys it. Never for financial reasons. And as much money as Michael makes, he should never have to do it for financial reasons. Robin's mother, the attractive Ruth Gibbons, who appears more and more with Tyson in public and at press conferences, is the woman who some believe gets a bum rap as the grand manipulator. She expresses controlled outrage as being portrayed as the mastermind of gold digging. I think it was a, showed a total lack of regard and understanding and respect for Michael to suggest that Robin would only love Michael for money. It means that, or that I would only love Michael for that reason, or any member of the family. Uh, it hurt me for him, because it really questioned his value. Regardless of what anyone says about me, my wife, and my mother-in-law, regardless of anybody, you know, no one knows us, and we have each other, you know what I mean? And that's, that's what counts more than anything, we have each other. The state board my wife, and that's, when, that's where I only click on vulnerable. You don't get your wife. I didn't react to that. But my wife, because she gets me. There was a call in my office, maybe two months ago, two and a half months ago, someone said, I know a very, very well-known lawyer who has a client who even said that Mike Tyson's a homosexual. Yeah? But you think someone's behind this? Well, what can I say? You know, so getting it. I mean, is there a person? Well, essentially, there is. You know, I mean, I believe, you know, I mean, I have, I believe who they are, but what can I say? You know? You hear the same story, you have so many women, he's a homosexual, you know, the two don't intertwine, you know what I mean? He has so many women that he's gay, and his family is crazy, has a wild life, you know what I mean? By nature, I'm wild, you know what I mean? Regardless, if my mentality, that's the way I am, you know what I mean? I'm subdued, but just, you know what I mean? I have a lot of energy, 